Hey guys, back with another video, this time talking about this gamer mouse head that I've worked on. It's more of a simplified version of the gamer mouse head, you know, because it has a bunch of particle effects all around it, so it doesn't have all that, but it does have all the decals here. And so I'm just going to talk about it. Just like my last cheese head video, I'm going to be doing just like a little overview of it, even though there's not much really new to talk about except for the paint job um this is kind of a sloppy video so please apologize i'm kind of making this up as i go along but as far as the build of the head it's basically the same as the cheese head this is my version 4 dead mouse head model i guess the old video that's from over a year ago that was my version 3, or my version 2, or something. I can't remember. All I know is this is newer, so it's more accurate. The differences between the other one is the space between the ears are slightly smaller. It was a little bit too far apart. Um, the mouth, I think on the old video, was way wider. Um, now it's smaller, more accurate, and the chin is smaller too. It used to be too wide. Now it's the correct proportion, and yeah, I might have moved the eyes closer and lower. I can't really remember, but all I know is this is the version 4, and it is as accurate as it can get. Um, so yeah, I think it looks really good. This is definitely one of my favorite that mouse heads to make because I love all the decals and stuff. Let me show you the back. Now there is a, a, uh, a character on here that's Dead Mouse playing a game with Meowingtons on top. Um, I will probably add that later, but I'm not sure. Um, I probably will add that. It's just a printable cutout, and I just, it's like a sticker. I just put it on. So, yeah. Uh, the build of it is the same. Ears screwed in. The mouth can go up. Same type of mechanism. Ears can come out. Same type of way. See, there's the mount right there. And. I don't know if I showed this inside, but there's baseball helmet. You could see it a lot better. And also there's some door trim, car door trim on around the neck. So it looks more professional. So yeah, um, let's talk about the paint job. A lot of this was used on, uh, with a vinyl cutter, a silhouette uh, cameo um, basically what I did is I would um, like get this text and cut it out on a vinyl and then I'll have my own stencil same with this this uh, basically all except for this all this was done with a vinyl cutter um, this was too and also that Everything else was done by hand, meaning I would cover, let's say I wanted to do this, this uh, Atari controller, I would cover this whole area with masking tape, and I made my own template that I would trace on, like these, and the red button, and I would cut it out with an X-Acto knife, peel off what I wanted to paint, paint over and remove all the tape, and I would have the, this design. That was basically everything Everything else. Um, these dots were vinyl cutter. Um, all the mouth was done by hand with templates. The big splatter effect, this explosion or whatever, that was all just by drawing onto it and covering the whole thing with masking tape. And I would just draw, roughly draw you know, where all these little fins would go. And you know, this one goes all the way to the ear. Um, and yeah, 
And a lot of these are multicolored, and so they would have three layers of paint, like, for example, this Galaga alien. I think that's what it's from. I would first paint the blue, and then I would paint the yellow, and then I would paint the orange. Same with this. I would paint the light blue, then the dark blue, and then the purplish pink. So it would be layers. I would do the first layer, wait for it to dry, and then do the next one, wait for it to dry, and then the next one. And I wouldn't, I would just, you know, people ask me what kind of paint I use, and I don't use, you know, an airbrush on this. I mean, I, I, I would um, here and there, but what I would do use is just regular spray paint from just, you know, Walmart, Home Depot, and it works. You just gotta be very, very careful not to, to get any drips or anything like that and make sure their paint works with the other type of paint and colors they're using because sometimes there will be cracking. And, um, and I would do a lot of touch-ups on this too because it won't, most, sometimes it won't come out perfect. And what I do to get around that is, before painting all of this, I would do a base coat of black, and I would clear coat the black in a uh, 2K clear coat. That way, I'll go and use this paint, this kind of paint, to paint all the decals and stuff. And if there is a drip or some spillage or whatever, I would just get a brush with a lacquer thinner and confidently go over this black without being afraid I would take this black off. Um, that way I can do a lot more cleanup. Um, that way the cleanup is a lot easier is what I'm trying to say. So uh, yeah, that's the Gamer Mouse head. It's a simplified version of it. Um, yeah, and so I guess what's all that's left is just to show it off on my head. So we'll probably have to adjust this a little bit. All right. Looks like we'll have to adjust it a bit more. Here, let's put you right here. There you go. So here it is, all in its glory. All these demo sets are pretty lightweight. They're about they're over five pounds, um, which is not too bad, although it, it does get a little strain from wearing these after a while. Very nice and shiny too. I love how these shine afterwards. And the mouth comes up as well. And yeah, looks pretty darn good. This is definitely one of my favorite Dead Mouse heads. <clears throat> I was going to try and make uh, my own Gamer Mouse head in the future. Um, I have a white Dead Mouse head of my own that's mine. And I was painting all these decals over the white to see how it would look. Because I thought a white version of this Game Room House head might look a little interesting. But it's kind of looking ugly at this point. So I'm going to be repainting it to do something a little bit more interesting. I'll probably make a video about it too. So yeah. This is Game Room House head. Hope people like this. And uh, I've been getting some comments about people wanting to see the carbon fiber demo set I've made. And I will be able to do that. Um, I have a carbon fiber head up at another shop getting work done. Um, so when that's back and finished, I'll make a video about it. So keep on the lookout for that and probably be making more videos about my demo heads and maybe even a build video about how I make these. If anyone's interested in that, uh, just let me know, because um, I think it'll be interesting. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys like this, subscribe, whatever. 
So thanks for watching.